What is going on guys? My name is Rama back again from Roman Reviews here and here is going to be a video where I feel like it's going to ruffle some feathers a little bit because I have a difference of opinion in terms of an anime and you know how that song and dance goes. You can't have an opinion if yours is different and apparently a lot of people were not happy with the way things were handled with episode 21 of The Rise on the Shield Hero. And it's weird though because I consider it as one of the best episodes to date. With everything that happened with the Queen, the, some, the resolution between Naofumi and his status, and how both Malti and the King, or mine, and how Malti slash mine or the King got their just desserts. Now, a lot of people were basically saying that a lot of things were different in the manga and how now Fumi handled things compared to how the anime handled things. And judging from what a lot of the people were saying, especially uh, on the comments on my video, I would like to preface, I am an anime only guy. I have not touched the original material, nor am I going to compare it to the source material because I'm comparing it exactly as it should be to the anime in question and nothing else because it wouldn't be fair if you compared something that happened differently in one section and something else. For example, that would be like if I make a... Mm, what would be a good example, actually? So, not everything gets translated correctly or one for one scale from the source material for a, a, uh, this is a little bit of a bad example but look at Rosario Vampire and compare the manga to the anime it's completely different and let's say up until a certain point that is mostly shot for shot recreation if you're going to compare something that the anime does to that ha um, was something that happened in the manga. You can't really do that. I'm judging exactly from the source material and nothing else. I'm keeping a completely unbiased view compared to other things. For example, I know that if I've seen something, for example, when I saw Gotoba no Hanayome or another one that I saw was Kaguya-sama, Love is War. I have read both the manga first before I actually had watched the anime series and a lot of people had some things that were like, eh, this was done differently. But I like to view things as they are in its own medium. For example, things that were, although it's kind of funny though because in Kaguya-sama's case, the anime I feel was done better than the manga because it was done differently and they were able to hit more comedic points but that's a that's totally another topic but what i want to bring up is that i'm looking at as only as from what i've seen from the anime i'm not looking at it from the light novels nor the manga because i've not read those so therefore i can't compare and therefore and i also think it would be kind of unfair to do so so a lot of people from i need to go look at the cliff notes really quickly but a lot of people were saying that i'm actually looking up my video because i know some people were posting comments of what had changed com in comparison and i know a lot of people were like oh this is completely different uh and i'm looking for it really really quickly um a lot of uh, thankfully a lot of uh uh the comments were mostly just pointing out that i i, I had missed some things um, but yeah, the manga was done differently in the manga, and I don't know the light novel. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure the light novel is probably around the same, I, I might be wrong, but from what people are saying, in the manga, now Fumi actually wanted them to die. It wasn't the queen saying, by the way, they need to die, and then it was now Fumi reacting to it. But, and that the queen kind of didn't mind them dying. But, from what I've seen, from the anime, I don't see Naofumi being like that at all. Now, if you were to say, look at Naofumi, if he was still the way he was from episode 1 to 3, yeah, absolutely, I could see him happening. He had that vindicti vindicative and very hateful, spiteful kind of mentality, which was completely warranted, by the way. But, Naofumi isn't a character that doesn't change. Big example, look at episode 4 when he finally sees Raftalia as an adult. This was the probably this was the biggest change that he had had in and probably the most significant change because it eventually made him I would guess soften and I say that word very loosely because he's still kind of a dick, but it's warranted. And he's not really a hero hero in the traditional sense, more of a hey this guy is 
we need him because he's one of the few when he's one of the four that can stop these waves that kind of here not like hey he's like this really nice guy going around doing good things for the good of the people he's not that kind of hero and he's never been that kind of hero he might have wanted to be at the beginning but with the whole situation after episode one we know how that song and dance goes but if you were to compare how an Alfumi acts from episode 1 up until episode 20, completely different person. I, I, I will fight anyone tooth and nail. Like I said, I don't know how he acts, I don't know how his mentality is, or his quirks, or his personality, or his relationships with his companions are. I don't know how it is in the light novel and manga. I'm only comparing it to what I've seen in the anime. And I've seen every single episode because I've reacted to the goddamn thing. <laughs> and I still am. But a lot of people felt like his him basically not letting them die was him being a goody two shoes i know i was talking to this guy on twitter and we were going back and forth uh, just like how he has a difference of opinion and that's perfectly fine but a lot of people uh, apparently like this is a common sentiment from the people who have seen the light novel or read the light novel uh, or the manga and I just don't see it in the world that the anime portrays now for me in. See, episode 4, he realizes that Raftalia isn't like this little girl. He's starting to see things, he's starting to taste food. And then later on, he gets Philo, and then he starts to act like a little bit of a father figure. He's still kind of a dick, yes, but he doesn't really... He, he doesn't treat Philo the same way as he treats the soldiers, or other people. And this is different. If you were to give me... In fact, I don't even think he would have actually raised Philo if he was still in the same mentality as he was in episodes 1 through 3. I don't even think that. I, I completely think that he wouldn't he would be different. He wouldn't it wouldn't show him making gifts. Yes, I know that he made gifts, the hairpin for Philo and the bracelet for Ralph Talia. Yes, it also helped increase that um, their stats, but I don't think he would have actually done that without some changes and I like how the anime had never straight up said that oh yeah by the way this is now Fumi is changing he's being a little bit more soft-hearted towards some things yes he's still a dick and he's still kind of being a hard ass for example when he was able to cure that village I believe the village that was infected with those vines he still asked for for payment and he was like yeah 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 you still have to pay me I'm not doing this for free. I'm not doing this out of the charity of my heart. I'm still acting. So he's not acting like the traditional hero and the stereotypical hero that anime or actually just mediums in general, um, how they portray heroes as this godly figure that will change and help you all out of the goodness of the heart and not request anything. No, no, no. He's he he'll help you, but he's gonna request something out of it. He's not just gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart. And like I said, he could have been that way, but ever since the episode, uh, ever since the situations and the circumstances of episode one, where he got betrayed and got labeled as this as, and branded as this traitor and this horrible person and this sexual predator, it, it forced him to go into a mentality that I completely agree with and I can understand with. But and then let's go and then going back into this whole execution thing. From the get go, you got you see the queen in the anime. In the anime, don't compare it to anything else. From the anime, you get to see that the queen is very hesitant, and she, you can clearly tell from the subtle movements of her face, especially around her eyes shaking and the not-so-subtle shaking of her arm as she's basically saying things to Naofumi, and she's subtly saying, it, it's subtle, but she's not outright saying it. She does not want to do this. Remember, the queen is this almighty, powerful person. She is a matriarchy. It, it, well, in the world, it is a matriarchal system where she is the power. Like, and in that kind of case, you're not supposed to show. You're not supposed to waver. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to, like, show any type of weakness or hesitation at all. If you're in the position, uh, in, if you're in the position of power, the way you are. For example, look at the president of the United States. I'm not talking about this current president. But the, t the title of President of the United States of America. You are the most powerful person in the world. You're not... If you're looking at the most powerful person in the world, would it be cool if he was hesitant? Or he or she was hesitant? Or showing mercy just because it happens to be someone you're close with. You're not supposed to do that. And that's the kind of situation I think the Queen is in, where the Queen knows 
yeah, Malte, her daughter, did some horrible things. In fact, and same thing with the king, and then with the king summoning the heroes and basically breaking a treaty, causing tension among the nations that, that shouldn't have happened, and basically, it forced her hand to, they had to be put onto the death penalty, which I kind of felt like was not going to happen anyway. But, as the ruler of basically the continent, I believe, uh, I don't know if it was the rule of the world, but I know for sure the continent, and every and all the surrounding kingdoms where she is the ultimate power she, it would it would be a disservice for that position not 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 the queen herself but the position of queen for them be, to show mercy or l give a lighter sentence because of basically biased reasons but she did what she had to do as a queen and sentenced them to death but she always had an ulterior motive of if she was basically going to happen, she needed the one person, the one person that this all surrounded, Naofumi, to at least step up. She needed Naofumi to step up, and in the case of uh, if he didn't, she would have at least offered her own life, and she would basically plead her own life in response. But it's even shown that in the anime, it made it seem like Naofumi could tell that, and that was the reason why. And a lot of people are getting very angry, but I just don't see it because, yes, the queen is supposed to be this almighty person, but at the same time, it is her blood daughter and her husband. I just can't see in the life of me, from what I've seen, we don't know much about the queen. We really don't. So, it's hard for me to see her as this person of unemotion, where she couldn't care if the queen uh, or Malti and the king died. I just don't see that happening in a person. If we got more backstory on her, sure, that's another story. But from what I've seen, and most normal people, that's not going to happen. You're going to have some hesitation, like, oh shit, that's my blood daughter. That would be like if I see my brother. He did a horrible thing. He killed hundreds of people. And he's put up on the death thing. Yes. Should he? Absolutely. But am I going to be like, yeah, and I had to be the one, and like, for if some twist of events, and I had to be the one to be like, yeah, I had to be the one to at least say, to give the order to kill him? That's another story. Is he supposed to, like, for example, would I have to say yes? Probably, yeah. Would it be hard to? Absolutely. Did he deserve it? Does, did, does he deserve a penalty worth death? Yes. Did Malti and the king deserve something worthy of death? Yes. But at the same time, who, unless you're like some type of sociopath, you're going to have some, at least second thoughts at the very least, and it's clear in the anime that the queen did. And you know, it's completely justified. But, I just, and like, I know the queen is supposed to be this hard rock, and that's why she was given the order up until the very last moment before Naofumi stepped in. And I know a lot of people are saying, thinking that Naofumi stepping in is a bad thing. I, no, no, I don't. Because if you think about it, even as I was saying the Sturman reaction, they're already in a position that if they were kept alive, and they were, they would be put, they would, they, their lives would be worse than if they were basically killed. Because if you think about it, Naofumi basically had them live their life as Naofumi had lived up until that point. Malty slash mine, or sorry, slut and bitch, now have to live the same life. In fact, actually worse, much worse, because now like she's considered a liar. She's gonna have to live through Naofumi's shoes as and the king as well. I, although the king doesn't have is only has a pretty trashy name, if you see it there. But the king and the and Malty, and I know I constantly bring the queen. I do apologize. I just just got off work, but the queen. God damn it, Malty. <laughs> Malty is going to go around with her new name. I don't think anyone even wants to continue it. Because, like, if you think about it, the con the entire continent knows this by now. At least the entire kingdom. And that word is going to spread fast. Look how fast that was, it spread even beforehand. Before the actual official, like, oh, yeah, by the way, you raped my daughter. But this was televised. Or at least broadcasted throughout the entire kingdom, and that's gonna send waves across the continent. If not, it might have been broadcasted to the continent. Who knows? Malty is gonna have a worse time 
than now Fumi did with a horrible name. No one is going to want to associate with her at all. Like, at all. At least Raftalia followed now Fumi because, yeah, he got he got her through questionable mini means, and he got uh, Philo through basically raising her out of uh, childhood, and she is still a child, and... Hell, even look at Melty. Melty was just sheltered. I don't even think the most sheltered people will not hear about the whole situation with Malty because everyone in the kingdom practically hit her. And plus, Mal M Melty was with the queen, I think, the entire time. Um, well, during most of that time. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But basically, now Fumi did two things. He paid back the queen. Because think about it. The queen set up Everything so he can clear her name, uh, so she can clear his name. Set that all up and even had a, wanted to have a celebration. So, him kind of letting them live was paying back the queen, which I could totally see him do. Like, yeah, he didn't want to go with the celebration, but he, he got a really good thing from the queen and he paid her back by keeping her daughter and her husband alive. At least they're not dead, and, she, and it's been clear that in the anime, that she didn't want them to die. At all. And also, it's kind of given her in good graces with the queen at the same time, now that he's doing this. And a lot of people are considered inconsistent. Like I said, I just don't see that happening. If he hadn't changed, and he's been shown to have changed throughout this entire series. Not, like, dra dramatically, and I don't think... Me, personally, I do not think that this was a dramatic change. Because if you think about it, he's kind of being a sadist. He's kind of being a sadist at this point. He's like, oh, yeah, you made me suffer. I'm going to make you suffer well. Nah, death's too good for you. He was just going along with it. But then he real. I think what also made him, like, realize it was when Malty was calling out to Naofumi. And they showed the picture of the slave crest not going off. And, like, when she was calling out for Naofumi to help him. That was a genuine cry of help. And I still think it's less, it's more of like, it's more, it's less of him being a goody too. It's more of like, he's getting back at her. He's like, oh, now then you get to experience exactly what it did, but worse. While also, and I'm not saying he planned this out like some people have said that, oh yeah, he's planning this out. No, 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 no. Or no, I don't think he's also being a good person doing this. I think this is a perfect revenge tenfold he's not being a good by good guy by doing this if you think about it yes he's being good in terms of he's keeping them alive but he's being a dick at the same time because he's making them repeat what he had to go through but so much worse with different names they are no they are gonna have zero social life they're they're gonna be completely outcasts way more than now Fumi is at least now Fumi was accepted in multiple places like I said, the entire kingdom, and I guarantee the entire continent at some point, is going to know that, hey, bitch slash slut over here, and trash, <laughs> they're not going to have anywhere to go. Like, I think the only place they will even have, it will be in the privacy of the queen. Like, the queen would be the only one who would actually maybe associate with them. Like, Motoyasu, the spear hero, I can... I highly doubt... I could be wrong, like I said, I have not seen anything past what I've seen past uh, post-episode 21. I don't even think now uh, Motoyasu is even going to acknowledge her. Maybe just to say her name, to irk her, but who knows. But yeah, I don't see what he did. Um, and, and like I said, and like I don't see him from what has been portrayed in the anime. I can't see him now fully vouching for the death I, I I because I kind of felt like he always had a don't care attitude anymore I don't care about you anymore like to those she uh, to the other years I don't care about you I'm gonna do my own thing and I could kind of feel the, like I it was more of like he there would be more of a nuisance and he was gonna do his own thing and you got you could you can do whatever the fuck you guys want this is now for me like how I see him in the anime you can guys do whatever the fuck you guys want I don't even care about you anymore later and he was kind of like that the entire time. He, he, at one point he was like, fuck all of you, you don't even look at me, I hope you all die. There was a point where it was like that. But he got to a point later on where he was like, you know what, don't even talk to me, I'm gonna do my own thing, don't associate with me. I will only help you out because I'm, I, we need to, 
that's about it. That's how he was always he portrayed himself later on. Early on, like I said, episodes one to three, completely different. But later on, he had the mentality of, I don't care. I don't care about you, Malty. You're still a bitch. You're a horrible person. But I don't care. You do you. I never really want, like, I didn't see him later on, post episode, I believe, four, where I don't really remember. I could be wrong, correct me, but I'd say in the last ten episodes, I never really felt like he constantly was in a point where, like, I want it. I'm like, I hope the queen, king and multi die. He always wanted them to get retribution. He always wanted that, but I, I just never got the feeling that he wanted them dead. And the manga, and like I said, the manga, it could be completely different. He might have had the mentality in the manga, and if he did, then I can understand why people would be upset. But in the anime, from what I've only seen, I do not see him look thinking that way now. Episodes 1 through 3, yes. Episode 4, up until a certain point, meh. But in the last, like, 10 or so episodes, no. It's more of, for the most part, he didn't care, but... The fact that the queen brought up, oh yeah, by the way, I kind of had to kill them. I kind of had to um, sentence uh, them uh, execution, the death penalty. And even he was like, kind of like shocked. He was dreaming about it. And you could tell it didn't sit right with him. And I think the reason why it didn't sit right with him was because he was like, mm, they deserve worse than death. And I still think that's actually worse than one of them dead. Which is kind of funny though, because everyone's like, oh, he's being good. No, 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 no. That's exact, it's kind of the exact opposite. He's being good in terms of the overall picture, yes. He's kind of doing a good thing. But in the end of it, it's really not a good thing. And I think Galfumi even knows that. He's like, yeah, I'm keeping you alive. And yeah, that's a good thing, but you're not going to want to be alive. For, because you're basically, you're, you're not going to have a happy life ever again. So it's either you die and you get released from... Torment, like I was, or you're gonna live, which is great, but you're gonna have all that torment, that scorn, that spitefulness, all thrown towards your way, and you wanna know it? Now Fumi is going to lap up every second of it, I feel like. I hope he does. If not, eh, I, 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 I will criticize him on that. But, like I said, wrapping it up, up I'm not seeing this show Now Fumi in a likable state I still kind of think it's more of like people are just going to accept him now and they're going people are going to like him simply because it's one of those oh shit you had to deal with all of that I'm sorry you're actually kind of a cool dude and I'm sorry it's one of those it's not like it, I'm, I don't see him being portrayed in a good light because if you think about it I know I'm repeating this but I had to drive it home what he did was the only good thing was that he kept them alive, but the ramifications of them being alive is much more severe. But anyways, that's all I had to say. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on it. But remember, this isn't an opinion. It's not facts. This is just how I personally feel about the whole situation. I want to know what you guys feel about the whole situation as an anime-only viewer. Manga viewers, it's not that I don't want your input. It's one of those, like... Because I know, you're going to subconsciously compare it to the original source. I've done it too. It's hard not to. And I don't fault you for it. At all. I can completely understand. But, as someone who is an anime only viewer, I think this was done well. In fact, I think it was a little bit more sadistic and more sinister this way than the manga. But like I said, I've only I haven't read the manga. I actually kind of want I want to actually read the manga eventually. I want especially just this part. I want to compare and contrast. But I read the cliff notes and what people have said. I mean, they could be completely wrong, but considering the, the a large consensus of people have been saying the same thing, I'm pretty sure it's about right. But yeah, that's all I wanted to really say. I know this is about a half an hour long, a little less than a little more than 20 minutes long actually, but. I just felt like this way, he was basically killing multiple birds with one stone. He was able to keep them alive while also subjecting them to a horrible, horrible fate if you think about it afterwards. He was able to pay back the queen for basically 
clearing his name and also taking her feelings into account. And it's shown that he is not the same Naofumi as episodes 1 to 3. And anyone who, who says he drastically changed because he let them live, I don't think you've seen the full picture, in my opinion. Again, it's my opinion. You're allowed to have yours. But anyways, that's it for this video. I do apologize if you heard the fan going in the background. Granted, I'm probably going to have music playing in the background of this anyway when I edit this video. But yeah. But anyways, guys. I feel like the anime did it better. It made more sense. And it made Naofumi kind of more sinister in the process. While also keeping them alive because... In reality, if people wanted it, I, I would not like it if Nalfoon was like, I want them dead. No, I I think that's too edgy. And it shows that he's still... He's, he, he had the mentality... It's more of a kiddish mentality and it's a very immature mentality. Especially now that he knows that, he's, uh, that the people who are Malti and the King are getting their just desserts. He knows that they're going to be even worse off. And I think that, in his own mind, is going to be satisfaction enough. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Tell me if I'm a piece of shit and I'm totally wrong in my opinion of shit. Or maybe, you know, maybe I might have convinced you as to my kind of mentality. I don't know. My This video isn't to convince anyone. It's more of just to say, hey, this is how I kind of feel about the situation. And, yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'm going to go hurry up and edit this up. Upload it. It's not going to be much to edit, in all honesty. It's mostly going to just be a cut with just some background noise. But yeah. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.